Leeds City, make some fucking noise! Yeah. Yeah. Distinction day number one here in Leeds, WY, you know what the fuck's going on, we're here in the wardrobe man, back 12 months after an absolute classic event at Two to Test 10, it's another great event we've got in today, but coming towards the end of the day right now, another two on two battle coming up, it's the doubles tournament 2013, three grand on the line, £100 entry fee per team, final prize for the winning team is £3,000 in June in London, let's see who makes it there. Okay, on the right hand side, from the city we're in, both battled last year and this year again, Dialect and Zen, make sure <laughs> Show's coming mad soon all over the country. That's Don't Gas. Shouts out to Bruce Lee, Double L, Kruger, Pr Pedro, Blizzard, everybody else in the crew. Season from Brighton. That's Don't Gas. You're going to see them on a lot of fucking lineups this year. Trust me, them two are in it. Okay, and on the left hand side, we got Leeds going up against Leicester. We got Ricky C and Crisis Music. Make some noise. Let's go. Right, uh, Dialect and Zen won the flip, so it's on them when they want to go. Like I said, uh, non judge battle today, video judged after the event. Please log on to the website, let us know what you thought. Show supports all the sponsors. Massive shout out to Sign Creations UK as well. If you need any promotional marks done, holler at them. It's uh, Distinction Day 1 on these two. Let's go. Yo. Go. Dialect is just like Simon says, fam, sit down, your mind are bled, I am a threat, threat fam. This now, entire round, we're gonna make your manner feel a little bit embarrassed, especially when I tell Leeds and real name is Farris. Yeah, wait. Yo, Farris, <laughs> suck a phallus, you bad battle rappers, I handle my matters, blue eyes, white dragon, and I'm smacking these actors. Yo, understand, Farris, your mama, she is a fat bitch. <laughs> and understand, I will slash her wrists and leave it with a bad stitch. Freestyling crisis. Hey, yo. You must be kinda penal for stepping up to me yeah. now. Fuck you, blood. You look kinda senile. Cause you know when we're spitting freestyles, me and Ricky C could bring it to the scene now. You two are a couple of fucking dickheads. Fuck you, and fuck you. Fuck you. Yo, listen, fuck that. Yo, Farid Zaza, your chakra is raw Understand that this bro, don't laugh, fam. Yo, I can see you laughing with that gay little smirk, you little turd. I guarantee that I will bury you on the earth. Women leave city. But how can you say that you can beat Ricky when I guarantee that you. Fuck's sake. I see them. Fire! Inside. Because we heard the were peas due. Oh, and then Earth confirmed and it virtually seemed cool. So I strapped a little bar for these nerds, reverse to the leads room, waiting for the flyer yearning to murk in the team who wanna try it because they thought they were worthy of me and you. Yeah. So from judging everything I've been through, you can imagine when I saw the flyer, I was like, who the fuck are these? <laughs> in your life for a second try and think that you're equal you want to go on like you're sick bitch but the fact is you are nothing more than skinny and feeble looking like lord delivering smeagol if you saw this ring for a needle <laughs> about you not being known fam, the fact is you really do flow sloppy, you guys are almost like porter guys trying to plot demise but more of a ghost copy cause in this scene bitch you are literally nobody. Yeah, and I'm street, no curry, you ain't threatening me. Let's go! You know this shit. No curry, you ain't threatening nobody with that feminine bone body. You better get a beretta to blow up on me, you skanger a chrome shotty, cause I'm with Zenna with Brit, me not with no problem on my seat. Whether I split my lens, I'm so cocky, so sick. Whether I'm a quick sever, your whole posse. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. When I'm around this bird, he ain't getting this. Oh, yeah. I'll see about it. You 
will get in shit because if man think I'm pussy, I will start wetting pricks. <laughs> so fuck both of you East Anglian dickheads. How can you even try and go and let this sick when you shit kegs, you piss beds and you ditch fence and split fence? Yo, when his fiend can't get a supply for a syringe, you might see him in your local recycling bins trying to find him a tin, he can start lighting it in. <laughs> Yeah, so why I say fuck these two novice guys who go to college high, live of cottage pie, rocky white, and live in the home of tea by squatters rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see the one thing you ain't getting is the only reason, you know, the only reason you're still paying for that shit is because every month I'm still paying my taxes. <laughs> Remember, if it weren't for this battle, we never would have said his name or acknowledged him. You were not major. You were no kind of danger or problem looking like Lady Sovereign if she had a baby gobbling with a rabies problem. <laughs> <laughs> This is hip hop versus grime. Ah oh, shit. This is hip hop versus grime. Uh, real guys versus two fakes. All right, boys. What's the difference between Soblo and New Shape? <laughs> Are you fucking stupid, mate? You must be some new grime rappers. Yo, my tactics. Let's see who can quote a Daddy Kane line the fastest. Ready? The rapping soloist. You don't want none of it. Go on, bro. I'm done with it. What's the problem? Can't remember shit. Yo, bro. I'm as cold as December is. When I enter this, I guarantee if you can't clock the dialect in my sentences, sign language. You getting this? Man, you're thick. Thinking caps on. Get it, dumb shit? Yeah. Man, you're thick. Get it, dumb shit? <laughs> right, thank you. Yo, man, you're thick. Get it, dumb shit? Listen. Ah, fuck's sake. Yo. Man, you're thick. Yo, 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 yo. Turn up. Yo, 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 yo. Let me spit. Yo, 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 yo. And Faris, I'm gonna embarrass him. Yo, fuck this, coming against me, your family ain't challenging. I know I <coughs> fucked up in the first round, but this is me bringing it back. Yo, why the fuck? Yeah, I got a chorus, yo, you could be singing it that. If my name was Faris, I probably would've spent oh, yeah, half yeah, my yeah. life in Paris. I would've wished my parents never met, let alone met married. dialect and end up married. Yeah, you said it, fuck you, Faris. Yo, listen, suck on a phallus, you pair of bad battle rappers. I handle my matters, blue eyes, white dragon, and I'm smashing these actors. Yo, listen, and I'm smashing these actors. For fuck's sake, I can't remember this. Maybe we should have done some more practice. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. Fuck you, I'm gonna show them up. You man, I do grind, yeah? This is better than every 16 oh, you've ever done. Yeah. Yo, you man, I ain't a brother but a bad man. Man, I get a back and if man and his gang try to attack man. <laughs> if man and his gang try to attack man, yo, all dot see you, you know I'm on ya. Scar you with blades off a helicopter. I think you need to learn my you that you cruise my new when you two step in the room. Mm. For fuck's sake, I can't even remember my boss to this too. <laughs> I'm fucking this up, and this is so stupid. <laughs> Time! Stewards, do your damn job! Yo! Next up, Yo! Fuck you and all your bullshit battle schemes. Looking like the kind of acid fiends who had planned for weeks just to rob a can of beans. I mean, bitch, what did you really think would happen if you come dot flop? Were well, you gonna bust flows hot, bitch? You think you're rough, so what? You wanna go on like you're sick, bitch? I'll run round to your mum, what knock? Give a full blown cock, and when I'm done, wipe my dick on your favourite umbrella top. <laughs> Check, check. And I can tell these men are wrong. I bet you're one of them vicious pricks who fucks his little sis with no Jimmy quick when your bang are done. Oh, no. I ain't talking about cream when I say he likes to get his saddle on. Oh. Yo, 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 so fuck both of you scratty scum. As far as I'm concerned, this battle's done. You might see him on road in the same clothes, cash chilling with a pack of drums. Yo, yo, so let me try and go on like you know, a joke. Wanna go on like you saw a bud, but you're broke, and you look like the kind of guy who smokes roll ups with a roach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So fuck crisis music, cause music's my job and my salary's blessed. I'm always sat at the manager's desk getting cash and respect. Mm. But in my canteen, I need any rapper that steps. So you'll get a P45 and a reality check. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
go off knowing in your right mind we'll invite you to a home. Reality check, crisis is so much of a crisis you can't even get a crisis lodge. <laughs> I mean, come on, uh, is this some type of joke? I mean, I mean, picture me spitting, though, picture me with a pick of cheese from Mr. Green because it delivers outside my home. Picture Ricky C spitting freeze in a shitty fleece while gripping a microphone. Well, here's a suggestion, leave the mic alone. Because if I spray like Mike alone, the comparison's like slate to styrofoam. Cake to a slice of toast, AIDS to a virus, cold. But the real reason they don't like us both is because he's racist. It looks like that type of bloke. <laughs> I bet you haven't faced this much colour in a ring since the last time you looked through a kaleidoscope. Oh. smoking crack you'll die but maybe this guy realize like this if you really want a light white split drink go on a five night binge every day your lifeline shrinks so what i'm trying to say is soon it'll be time crisis We fucked up, but... Right, everyone quiet! <laughs> yeah, everyone shut up! Let's go. Yeah, this is good. We! Fuck with your rep in Leeds, bro. Will! Chomp you to your people. <laughs> no! After this, be equal. News! Respect after we beat you. Brace yourself for the main event and see who box you. Separate the wheat from, from the, the proper. proper. Uh, and it ain't hard to beat uh, these peeps in Leeds. It's on, kiddo. Bring something special in his sweet. I can hear my bars make your heart skip a beat. Mm -hmm. You couldn't be us in a TARDIS, you queef. <laughs> Time traveling at the point of defeat. This is peak. The lyrical incarnation mm. is taking place. Fucking with Ricky C. It, it ain't safe. Uh, Call your mom when you see your daughter. Oh, Christ, it's my, my boy from Cobb. Who boxed him up, bro? I ain't even finished because I'm about to freestyle in a minute. Bro, we hit him up. Go, bro. Yo, well you didn't get it, son. <laughs> like, we've embarrassed him. Right, it could be a time when we could make it more relatable to Paris then. So we said it, so fuck it anyway. <laughs> fuck it. If my name was Paris, I know we already said it, but fam, you're embarrassed. I bet you would have wished you and dialect never met, let alone sat together and accepted this challenge. Even though we choked you, joke, fuck you and fuck your mate. <laughs> Yo, listen. Y'all know. Time. Bag your car time. Yo, yo, I can tell you're incompetent. I mean, I can see in your eyes that deep in your mind you know you can't conquer us. So why are you talking shit when you aren't confident? And the best things to come out of Leicester are Walker's Crisp and Mark Morrison. <laughs> And the only reason yeah, I'm referring to that is because after this I'll walk off with your chips and I'll return with the mat. <laughs> As for his bird, she's a slag. I was in stinky, seen his sister skanking, so we got to titty wank. He left a slot marked in the back, and I'm not talking about America when I say I left a hurt in Iraq. Yeah, and you know what a vermin, a rat. So why are you so determined to rap when inevitably you kids are heading for shit like sperm in a crack? Mm. Uh. Yo, you pussies come across like you're just learning to rap. And yo, die like you're right, these guys kinda are like vermin in fact. You tried to suck your own dick that many times that the curve in your back has now turned into a vertical slant. <laughs> yeah, and I can tell you're nervous and prank. <laughs> now, because now we're down to the last minute, you expect us to outshine you with fast lyrics. But I say fuck the crowd advantage Cause me getting them hype won't explain why you sound is drastic Why you ever clown and chat shit Why you say you're good at freestyling but against Dutch you sound is spastic I mean, in this league you man are only an ounce of baggage So if you somehow fell off, I won't be announcing that shit So I beg you pull your fucking head out your ass Cause you ain't making rap hits And I've heard better beats coming off Balski's fat tits When he jumps around and backflips <laughs> Yo, 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 so remember it's done and 
dialect. It's Zan and dialect, and there's no way these pussies are ever getting class. You wanna go on like a golly, I kick your slot in the pussy until I swam my toes. Drag that slot to Ellen Road and fast right knife point to name every goal ever scored by Becky O. <laughs> Go on like you got the balls to come to my lead team and come across me like you won't get boxed like a proper package. I leave you with horrible body damage and properly Robbie Savage. <laughs> yo, 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 I might just have to, you can tell it this cunt ain't happy and yo, it's not a one, one of them ones where he's gonna drop great and badly. Whoa, gee, how can you go on, right? You've got two straps in a Lonsdale trackies. <laughs> <laughs> Danny LaRusso with the crane kick. I'm a winner in the final minute. That's some insane shit. Stick of the dumb, Stevie Dickhead, team hate member number one. FU music. Go cop the cannon for the EP out now from stick of the dump UK.com. You need that shit in your life. Just watch the battle between uh, Zen and Dialect and two other dudes. Um, I think it's a pretty straightforward decision. I think Zen and Dialect got totally bodied. Um, you know, they just no. I think Zen and Dialect came prepared. They were more composed. Um, I think the freestyle element brought by the other two cats just wasn't up to the mark. I think, I mean, I got a soft spot, soft spot for freestyle and whatever, but you know, you have to come on point with it, otherwise, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't it doesn't win over pre-prepared bars. So it was a clear-cut decision. There's no point in going on about the intricacies of it. Zen and Dialect absolutely smashed it. Uh, the other two basically weren't good enough. Um, don't know if that was an on a day thing or if they're just not good enough, that's the way it came across. Much love to those two dudes, but you know, pick a better pastime and all that. Um, yeah, that's it. Don't really need to talk about it anymore. Go cut my shit, because I'm better than you. Team Hey member number one, peace. Yo, Super Dash, BS5, out uh, here yeah, judging Dialect and Zen versus um, Ricky C and Midlife Crisis. Let me just start off by saying this to Midlife Crisis, like, Terrible, you know what I'm saying? You, you abandon your partner, in a, your, your, your comrade, in the middle of a fear of what? You said not a single word in the second round. In a two-on-two, -two, you left him freestyling, spitting his runs, everything. That shit is not on. You're a bad person. I hope your family are ashamed of you. So and I should have had your spot in this tournament. Now, getting into the battle. There was a clear golfing quality between these battlers here. I want to say shouts to Ricky C anyway, because the guy kept going, he showed some decent heart, and he refused to be disheartened, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he went in, in his own way. That being said, dialect and zen, body bagged, real bad, real bad. Like, every single round, the punches were harder, the, the, the flow was harder, the, the teamwork was harder, the confidence, energy. Easiest decision, I don't think we need to even spend much more time on it. Dialect Zen, 3 0, body bag. Ricky, well done. Crisis, no more. Alright, um, I've just finished watching the battle. <sighs> crazy. It was crazy heated. Both of them teams went in. Both of them were good. Um, uh, obviously, gave it to. Dialect and Zen, uh, all three rounds. I watched it live, uh, but I was going to be professional about the judging, uh, and I was going to take down notes on my phone, my phone. Uh, but I realised halfway through taking the notes that it was the biggest waste of time ever, so I stopped doing it. And uh, after all three rounds, I gave it to Zen and Dialect, pretty much body bag. There's li there is no other word to describe it um body bag body bag easy i'm guessing every judge is gonna say that exact same fucking thing so congrats to zen and dialect on to the next round you go nameless uh judging zen dialect versus uh ricky c in crisis I don't even know, I don't think too many people are going to watch these judgments because that was kind of a body bag. Um, I think Ricky C in Crisis, I don't know what their plan was. I'm trying to picture what was happening before the battle where they were like, bruv, we've only got like 10 bars between the three rounds, but like we're going to we're gonna get this with our excellent freestyling skill because that's like this angle that no one's ever done in written battle rap before. I don't know. I don't know what the thinking was. You could tell 
by the end of the first round that they uh, they knew how that battle was going to end up and were just really upset that they had even showed up that day. So there you go. Nameless using all of my talented judging skills to deduce something that I think even the wonderful and in incredibly intelligent YouTube viewership should be able to uh, come to the same conclusion. So there you have it. Jasper, who do you think won it? Who do you think won it? Jasper, who do you think won it? Exactly. Yo, it's Bent Legs. Don't flop. Judging uh, Dialect and Zen versus Ricky C in Crisis Music. I'm not going to lie, it wasn't the most difficult decision I've ever had to make. Um, given it's Dialect and Zen, as I'm sure you know, you've probably seen, you probably already know my reasoning why. Um, I mean, like Ricky C in Crisis Music kind of freestyled the first... I think it was the first two rounds um, completely, it seemed. I think they had a few bits and a few schemes kind of pre-written, but they really didn't use much of it. In the second round, I don't think Crisis even said anything at all. I don't think Crisis Music even spoke in the second round. Um, and the third round, they had like this like like hip-hop scheme where they like kind of used flows from Nas, Tupac, stuff like that, and it, it really didn't work. I mean, the first round was like so unprepared and so like, for want of a better word, terrible, that after Dialect and Zen's first round, they'd already won, like, 3-0 after one round. Do you know what I mean? Like, like Zen had a massive improvement off his uh, last two-on-two two with Chris Lees. He stepped up big time. His, his battle with Chris Lees, he wasn't terrible, but it wasn't his best. This time, he's really stepped up. And you can tell that they didn't take the battle lightly at all. Like, they were obviously going into the battle, you know, for, pretty much everybody considered them to be the favourites. Um, a lot of people have tipped them to be favourites for the whole tournament in general. So they, they had to go in, you know, being prepared. I don't think it's their best stuff. You know, I think they have got a lot more to come. But they didn't, you know, they didn't underprepare or didn't take it lightly at all, which is why there was such a, like, a, you know, a difference between the two because they're both better rappers. Um, they're both better battlers. They've written well. They've written together, clearly. And they've practised a lot more because, I mean, if your best bar of a battle is, you know, we really should have practised it's really not a good look at all and you know they had the home advantage dialect in zen but um still that didn't really matter i mean it would have it would have been exactly the same anywhere that they've been they completely buoyed them off to be honest it's you know it's horrible to say but you know you've got to be honest so yeah so i gave that one to dialect and zen um safe check out the website new stuff coming soon big up new age rocketeer on the camera Lee City, make some fucking noise! Yeah. 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 Yeah.